Hello students. So in this video, we will learn how to calculate the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor. So let us learn first what is a parallel plate capacitor. A parallel plate capacitor it consists of two plates which are parallel to each other. Like here we can see one plate will carry a charge plus Q and another plate will carry a charge minus Q. If on this positive plate total charge is plus Q and on the negative plate total charge is minus Q then all the positive charge and all the negative charge will lie on the inner surfaces of the plates. Outer surfaces will have zero charge. This we can learn as we have already studied in our Gauss law. The area of these plates is A. The area of these plates is A. Charge on the positive plate or the magnitude of the charge is Q. V is here the potential difference between both plates. As we can see these both the plates will be having some potential difference that we will learn ahead how to calculate that. So first thing we will see is that for calculating the capacitance this formula as we already know capacitance is equals to charge on the positive plate divided by potential difference between the positive plate and the negative plate of the capacitor. So according to this our formula should become that capacitance Q can be written as Q upon V. As we have already told here that V is the potential difference between both the plates. Let us say that the potential of this plate is V positive and the potential of this plate is V negative. Our purpose is that somehow other we have to calculate the ratio of Q upon V and whatever will be the ratio of Q upon V that can be called as the capacitance of a capacitor. So in this situation we already know that we have plus Q divided by the potential and the potential means we have to calculate the potential difference between what we have to calculate the difference between V positive and V negative. So ultimately our whole question lies here that how we calculate this part V positive minus V negative. So for this as we already know from our electrostatics chapter that dV is equals to minus E vector dot dr vector. If we can somehow other manage to calculate the electric field between these two plates and then take the dot product with the position vector displacement vector from V positive to V negative then we will get the potential difference between these two. So our first task now becomes to calculate the electric field between these two plates. So in this case because these both the plates are parallel to each other and the distance between them if the distance between them is very small d then in that case we can say that the electric field lines between them will be parallel straight lines. We will neglect the fringing effect at the corners of the capacitor plates. So let us calculate the electric field at point P. This electric field at point P will be because of two charges one because of the charge on the positive plate and another because of the charge on the negative plate. So for calculating E net we can say this will be E because of positive plate plus E because of negative plate. Ultimately as we know electric field is a vector quantity so we have to add them according to vectors. Let us analyze the situation more. If we see here then we can say clearly that because of this positive plate the electric field will be towards right. We can say because of electric field because of positive plate will be towards right. And similarly the electric field because of negative plate will also be towards right. So here we can see 
that both the electric fields are in the same direction so we don't have to worry about their directions for calculating e net we can just say that we have to calculate the magnitude of e because of positive plate plus magnitude of e because of negative plate now as we can see that these parallel plates or these individual plates the electric field because of these individual plates we have learned in our previous chapter is sigma upon 2 epsilon naught so what is the sigma sigma is charge density and what will be the value of the sigma q upon a because in our both the cases we can see here that our charge magnitude is same so we can say that the sigma magnitude for both the plates will be same and that will be q upon a so we can clearly see here that the value of electric field will become q upon 2a epsilon naught for the positive plate also and for the negative plate also it will become q upon 2a epsilon naught now we have to add both of them up so as soon as we will add both of these we will get the e net at point p so we got from here e net is equals to q upon 2 epsilon naught because of positive plate similarly q upon 2 epsilon naught because of negative plate this total comes out to be q upon a epsilon naught our first task is complete that we have calculated the electric field between these two plates now we will take help of our formula dv is equals to minus e vector dot dr vector we can see here that in our drawing that we are going our electric field is going from the positive plate of the capacitor to the negative plate of the capacitor because the electric field is going from the positive plate of the capacitor to the negative plate of the capacitor then we can clearly say that the positive plate will be at higher potential and negative plate will be at the lower potential this is the first thing that we learned from here that v positive will be higher and v negative will be lo lower and the second thing that electric field is constant throughout the capacitor because it is constant throughout the capacitor then in this situation we can say that we don't have to worry about this dr because this part for calculating potential difference between these two plates we should have integrated it but because we have seen that our electric field is already a constant vector so we can very easily take it out from the integration and we will get minus e dot r negative minus r positive what is the meaning of this r negative minus r positive and here we can write the limits from r negative to r Here we can write the limits from R positive to R negative and similarly the potential V positive to V negative. So you will see here then on this side we will get V minus minus V positive. If we go ahead then we can clearly see this value will become equals to d so we got minus e and what is the value of e q upon a epsilon naught d and this is v minus minus v positive but while we were learning what is the value of v we had put here v positive minus v negative so we have to write the value of v positive minus v negative so we can say here it can be written as minus v so once we have written it minus v 
this the both will get cancelled out these both the negative signs will get cancelled out with each other and we will get the value of v is equals to q d upon a epsilon naught and on adjusting this we will get q by v so this can be called as the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor okay thank you